collision between Junior Dos Santos and the man who possesses some of the most lethal kicks in mixed martial arts history, Mirko Kroka. Mirko Kroka, set to enter the octagon and listen to the crowd. They love this guy. Mirko Krokop is one of the most successful strikers turned mixed martial artists of all time. He's got a ton of experience and quite possibly the most impressive highlight reel of knockouts you will ever see. Mirko Krokop, ready to throw down and put on a big show for this capacity crowd. Junior Dos Santos, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Junior Dos Santos is a very dangerous striker. He's got precision punches with knockout power behind them. He has been putting top-level guys to sleep since he came to the UFC. Junior Dos Santos, fired up and ready to go. is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a striker. He stands six feet two inches tall. Weighing in at 235 pounds, fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia. This man is a former Grand Prix champion of pride. Mirko Roka! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet three inches tall. Weighing in at 235 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the current UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Junior Segano Dos Santos. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan and we are ready to get this fight started. Are you ready? Are you ready? Mirko Kroka, Junior Dos Santos. And here we go. Let's go as guys. successful Fight. as Mirko Krokop has been for many years as a heavyweight, he's not a big heavyweight. Weighs in at about 225, 230 pounds. Yeah, if I was Mirko Krokop's manager, I would have talked him a long time ago into fighting at 205. Uh, he likes fighting heavyweight guys. He likes fighting in the, the biggest division. But quite honestly, when you look at guys like Brock Lesnar and Fabrizio Verdum, these big, giant heavyweight guys. They just... And down he goes. And he gets his opportunity and he jumps down. He's in the guard now there you go nice pushes him off with the feet he lets him up dangerous situation nice right hand oh that one dropped him he's hurt he's hurt big right hand he got tagged there but it looks like he's recovered Got the hooks in, Joe. He's got his back. Rolls him over. Full mount. Now able to posture up. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. He recovers. Again, the chance for Mirko Kroka. Oh, body 
body shot. Under 90 seconds remains in the first of three five-minute rounds. Joe, the big kick, and he drops him. Yeah, he swept him with that leg kick. Oh, big, big head, head kick. kick. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Push kick. Trying to punish the midsection. He caught the leg. He's down. He dives into the goal. Oh, big kick to the head. It's over. Oh, oh man. That was brutal. Over. Joe, he set that up nicely. And finishes with the head kick. Junior Dos Santos with the victory. Here he steps into the middle of the highway and the semi runs him over. How good is that? Here we see it again. And that's it. Right on the button. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Junior Segado Dos Santos. Junior Dos Santos earns the victory.